Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're taking a look at Sony's DWZ series of digital wireless systems. Sony's been in the wireless microphone business for a long time, and their DWX series has been a popular choice for high-end applications like touring artists and massive venues, but that system is expensive. Well, now for musicians, presenters, and smaller venues like houses of worship or nightclubs that don't require all the features of the DWX line, they've introduced the more affordable DWZ series that still delivers excellent digital sound. There are four sets in the series to choose from, the M50 vocal set, the M70 vocal speech set, the B70HL lavalier headset set, and the B30GB guitar set. We're going to take a look at the system and the differences between the sets. And while we look at the different packages, I'm going to use the handheld mics from the M50 and M70 sets, and later the lavalier mic from the B70HL package to record my voice wirelessly to our video camera. The DWZ series operates on the 2.4 GHz ISM broadcast frequency band, which is pretty common for consumer devices. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth devices, even cordless phones operate at around 2.4 GHz, and the reason for this is that you don't need a broadcast license for this frequency band. Cell phones, however, do not operate in the 2.4 GHz zone, so you won't be getting any interference from them. Sony recommends DWZ series systems for setups using six or fewer microphones and where the distance between transmitter and receiver is from 50 to 100 feet, although the specs indicate distances of up to 300 feet are possible. Also, the DWZ system is line of sight only. It won't allow you to transmit through walls or structures. What it does offer is 24-bit, uncompressed, high-quality, linear PCM digital transmission. What's more, the system has been designed to be really easy to use, even for users who've never used wireless systems before. Let's start by checking out the M50 vocal set, designed for singers and vocal performers. The set includes the ZTX M01 dynamic microphone with built-in transmitter. Controls are really simple. Holding the recessed power mute button on the mic down for at least a second will power the transmitter on or off, but a quick press of the button will mute or unmute the mic. When I loosen the grip cover here, you can see the battery compartment for the two AA batteries, and these will power the transmitter for about 10 hours. Also in here are our controls that allow us to set the RF mode and channel for the transmitter and a seven segment LED to indicate the channel and mode. Smartly, Sony has included a button lock switch that locks out the buttons so you don't accidentally mute the mic, power it off, or switch channels during use. The micro USB port in here is for firmware upgrades. The transmitter antenna is at the bottom of the mic underneath this cover. The ZTX M01 comes with a dynamic cardioid capsule, but the capsule is interchangeable, so if you want to swap it out with a capsule with a more narrow or a wider pickup pattern, or even a condenser capsule, you can do that very easily, and those capsules are sold separately. Also in here is an optional pad that can be set to lower the level by either 6 or 12 dB when you're miking louder sources. Overall, the look and the feel of the microphone is really great, very solid, but not too heavy, weighing about one pound with the two double A's inside. Also smart looking is the ZR RX HR50 half rack space receiver, which features a nice, easy to read color LCD display, an indenting knob to page through the menus and make setting adjustments. The DWZ series gives you two radio frequency or RF modes to choose from. Wideband is optimized to reduce any interference to other wireless devices, while narrowband is optimized to avoid getting interference from other wireless devices. Each mode offers six channels, but if you're using multiple units, you have to stick with one mode or the other, which is why the maximum number of DWZ units you can use at one time is six. You can set the channel on the receiver manually, but a neat feature in the receiver is this best channel selection, which will search out the optimum channel for you. Alternately, you can use the clear channel scan to have the receiver scan the channels, and the display differentiates between between three levels of interference so you can choose the best channels. The receiver actually has two antennas and uses space diversity to choose the one with the best reception status. You can actually see it switching between antennas on the display. The receiver also has a five band graphic EQ on board. So for example, if you want to pull some low end or boost the highs, you don't need additional gear for that. I also appreciate
indicated the fact that the remaining battery time in the transmitter is displayed on the receiver. On the back is a balanced XLR output switchable between mic and line level outs, along with two unbalanced quarter inch outputs, one of which labeled aux tuner can be set to continue to pass audio even when the mute button on the transmitter has been pressed. Similar to the M50 vocal set in the DWZ series is the M70 vocal slash speech set, but there are a few differences. This set also features a unidirectional handheld dynamic mic, and you can also swap out the capsule with different ones. The power button on the ZTX M02RC does not have a mute function, but more interestingly, instead of a button lock switch, there's a switch here that enables 128-bit AES standard encryption for highly secure transmission. The ZRX HR70 half rack receiver has the same three output options, but in addition to EQ, also features an optional real-time feedback reducing effect to reduce monitor feedback during performances and presentations. There are three levels of reduction available, but the more of the effect you dial in, the bigger the change in sound quality and the more latency you'll get. The high setting adds 16 milliseconds of delay, which is not insignificant. The B70HL headset and lavalier package also uses the ZRX HR70 receiver, so it also has the encryption and feedback reduction features. Instead of the dynamic handheld mic though, it includes a cardioid condenser headset mic and a cardioid condenser lavalier mic, and that's what you're hearing right now. The transmitter is the ZTX B02 RC body pack transmitter, and it'll also run for 10 hours on two AA batteries, which fit into the smartly designed tray right on the side next to the pad and the mic instrument line switch. Both mics come with foam windscreens to reduce plosives and wind noise. A strongly recommended accessory for both the B70HL and the M70 packages is the Sony battery charger for the series, which enables contact-free recharging of NIMH batteries in both the body pack transmitter and the M02RC handheld mic transmitter. An additional accessory to consider for the half rack receivers is the RMM HRD1, which allows for single or dual unit rack mounting and extends the antennas to the front of the rack. It's nice and neat. The fourth and final member of the DWZ family is the B30GB for guitar and bass players. This set also features a body pack transmitter, but the ZTX B01 is slightly different in that instead of a mic instrument line switch on the side, it's a mic instrument only switch with the instrument setting optimized for high impedance guitar or bass use. The receiver is also quite different from the other sets. It's smaller, the antenna is built in rather than detachable, and it doesn't feature the color LCD screen. Instead, you'll set the desired RF mode on the back and then dial in one of the six channels on the front. The other dial on the front is called Cable Tone. A traditional wired guitar setup gets loaded down as the cable length increases, reducing high end. But of course, for a lot of players, that's actually a part of their sound. So for these guys, the sound of a digital wireless system can sometimes be too clean sounding. By dialing in Cable Tone, a player can simulate the signal degradation they're used to. And the settings are in meters to simulate cable lengths from 1 to 25 meters. Or of course, you can choose no Cable Tone at all. Unlike the other receivers in the series, the ZRX C30 offers flexible three-way powering. You can use the supplied AC adapter, a commercially available 9-volt DC power supply, or a 9-volt battery. To test it out and give you a quick idea of how it sounds, we brought in our guitarist, Mr. Mike Callahan, to play a couple of riffs, first with no cable tone, and then with 12 meters of simulated cable tone. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how Sony's DWZ wireless systems work and which of the four sets would be right for your needs. Smartly designed and very easy to use, even for folks with no experience in wireless sound, Sony's DWZ systems offer excellent digital wireless sound at an affordable price point. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.